We might not be walking across that stage with the cameras flashing. They've been waiting on our day. It's been a journey, hasn't it?
for the Bachelor of Science in Information and Communication Technology.
graduation for the Bachelor of Science in Physical Education. Bachelor of Physical Education. Followed by Bachelor of Technology and Livelihood Education with majors in Agri-Fishery Arts and Home Economics. See? 
which are the different teams of the different colleges. Most students will graduate this afternoon. With them is the Vice President for Academic Affairs. Ladies and gentlemen, the entrance of our very own college president and our guest of honor and speaker. Following them is the entrance the candidates for graduation, parents, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to the 43rd commencement exercises of the Cotabato Foundation College of Science and Technology with a theme championing quality education through innovative teaching and learning and to start with an invocation and this will be followed by the singing of the philippine national anthem ladies and gentlemen the entrance of the colors source of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We adore you for your infinite wisdom and power. We praise you for you are the only one who can direct our lives. We thank you for all the gifts you have bestowed on us, your children. Without you, we are nothing. You are the ultimate teacher. You teach and instruct us in the way of life and guide us into your will. May we teach others with the wisdom and love that we receive from you. Remind us that our teaching is an act of worship to you. Amen. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Malik Yawmiddin. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim. Sirat al-ladina an'amta alayhim ghairil magdubi alayhim waladdallin. Amin. Rabbana dalamna wa ilayka tawakkalna wa ilag wa ilayka anabna wa ilayka almasir Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana tawakina tabannar Rabbana waja'alna muslimaini laka wa min zuriyatina ummatan muslimatan lak wa arina manasikana wa tubalayna innaka anta tawabur rahim Rabbana dalamna anpusana wa ilam tagpilana wa tarhamna lana kunamna minal hasirin Rabbana takabbal minna inna kanta samin alim wa tuba alayna inna kanta tawabur rahim Birahmatika ya arhamur rahimin walhamdulillah Mga kababay Ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas Hail the mighty school, cheer the 
so white and green. You will search for wisdom, join us here. For a princess came and his voice she changed. Armed with a dream and a vision. Was the wilderness, was the destiny. Now a heaven for children of adversity. Peace be upon us. Good afternoon, each and everyone. Board of Trustees who are in attendance, honored guest and speaker, Dr. Nelia E. Aleben, Chair Region 12 Director, to our beloved President, Dr. Ali K. Delangalan, in the deans of the five colleges, officials, faculty, and staff, students, parents, and guardians, in our dear graduates class of 2022, a glorious day to all of us. It is my delight to welcome you all to the Kutabatu Foundation College of Science and Technology 43rd Commencement Exercises. As the Vice President for Academic Affairs, I extend my warmest felicitations and congratulations to all those graduates receiving their degrees today. It is truly an honor for us to gather here in our campus to celebrate our face-to-face -face graduation, which should not be taken for granted, given to the trials we have faced for the last two years as an individual, as an educators, as students, and as an institution. At the outset, I would like to thank our dear graduates of BAS 2021-2022 for you have successfully finished your rigorous academic trainings from this institution. As the head of the academic affairs, we are confident that CFCSD has taught you the necessary skills, knowledge, and values look for by the industries today. The CFCSD with the leadership of our energetic and visionary president, Dr. Ali Kidilankalan, is making our best effort to give you the quality services on top of the quality education. This year, Amidst the swords and cold down of COVID-19 pandemic, the CFC ST has submitted in past several programs for AACUP accreditation, especially the programs of College of Education, Graduate School, College of Information in Communication Technology, and also the prestigious ISO reaccreditation. These are manifestation of the administration endeavors. As you can see, we have improved our infrastructures and facilities as we are getting near to our dream of universityhood. 
I'd like to commend our educators who relentlessly perform their utmost commitment to their noble profession amidst the challenges posed by this pandemic. You may be tired and exhausted with the learning modalities that we have. Nevertheless, this young, the young adult, and the forever young people in front of us, wearing their academic gowns is a proof that we have hurdled those challenges. As we commence the ceremony, felt in yourselves the success that you have reached and by thankful to all the people behind it, especially your beloved parents and loved ones. However, we overcome, we conquer, we continue to pursue greatness despite of all these trials by equipping our faculty and learners through quality education adapted to the rapid changes in this fourth industrial revolution. As we press on to the new milestone, clothed with our learnings and expertise, let us do our duty and excellency, striving to help our family, our community, so as to shape a better future. To all the heads, faculty and staff, family and graduates, you are the champions. You are the champion by being the carrier of quality education through your innovative teaching and learning. Once again, congratulations. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Peace be upon us with the blessings of Almighty God. Thank you. For the graduate school, Dr. Lumina D. Cabilo. For the College of Education, Dr. Gijet C. Paron. For the College of Information and Communication Technology, Engineer Roy M. Pama. And this will be followed by the certification of completion of requirements for graduation by Mr. Joselito A. Cui, our college registrar. And this will be followed by the declaration of graduation, conferment of titles and degrees by our president, Dr. Ali K. Dilangalin. Dr. Ali K. Dilangalin, president of the Cotabato Foundation College of Science and Technology, on behalf of the candidates for graduation in the graduate school, I have the honor to present this request that 17 candidates be conferred with a degree doctor of education, two with a degree of doctor of philosophy in rural development, two with the degree of Master of Art, Art and Science in Agriculture, and 78 with the degree of Master of Arts in Education, which they have satisfactorily complied the academic requirements as recommended by the respective faculty through the Academic Council and approved by the Commission on Higher Education. Dr. Ali K. Dilangalen, President of the Katabato Foundation College of Science and Technology, on behalf of the candidates for graduation in the College of Education, I have the honor to present this request that 36 candidates be conferred with a degree Bachelor of Elementary Education, 56 with a degree Bachelor of Secondary Education with majors in Mathematics, 20. Filipino, 15. English, 9. Science, 11. And MAPI, 1. 8 with a degree of Bachelor in Physical Education. 34 with a degree of Bachelor of Technology and Livelihood Education 
with majors in AFA 8 and Home Economics 26, which they have satisfactorily complied the academic requirements as recommended by the respective faculty through the Academic Council and approved by the Commission on Higher Education. Dr. Ali K. Dolangalin, President of the Cotabato Foundation College of Science and Technology, on behalf of the candidates uh, for graduation in the College of Information and Communication Technology, I have the honor to present this request that 26 candidates be conferred with the degree of Bachelor of Science in Information Technology and one with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, which they have satisfactorily complied the academic requirements as recommended by the respective faculty through the Academic Council and approved by the Commission on Higher Education. Mr. President, in my capacity as Registrar of the College, I hereby certify that the 260 candidates for graduation for the school year 2021-2022 as presented by the respective deans and supervisors have satisfactorily complied all the requirements for graduation as recommended by the Academic Council of the Catabata Foundation College of Science and Technology and approved by the Board of Trustees with all the rights and honors and privileges appertaining thereto, requesting further that the candidates be conferred in their respective degrees. Sir? Acting on the recommendation of your respective deans and upon due certification by the Office of the Administration our office as to the completion of all the requirements for graduation and by birth of the authority vested in me as the college president by the board of trustees of the Cotabato Foundation College of Science and Technology I hereby confer upon the 260 candidates for graduation the respective degrees and earned for the school year 2021-2022 with all of the rights owners, privileges, and responsibilities appearing there too. I now declare you graduates. Congratulations. Congratulations, dear graduates of BATS 2022. You may now be seated. Our guest of honor and speaker for this afternoon's 43rd commencement exercises will be introduced to us by our college president, Dr. Ali K. Dilangkali. My courtesy and respect to our guest of honor and speaker, member of the Board of Trustees, Honorable Charity Ronamo, our MC, representing faculty, and other member of the Board of Trustees who are in attendance. Our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Harris N. Sinolending, Deans, directors, faculty and staff. Our director for instruction, Dr. Benori Mantawil. Our graduates, very supportive parents. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi jami'an wa barakatuh. Our speaker, this afternoon is currently the Regional Director of the Commission on Higher Education, Region 
12. Prior to her post in Region 12, she was also the special assistant to the chairperson for higher education institutions of here in Mindanao from 2019 to 2020 and has served as the director in charge of the project of higher education in the context of Bangsamoro Organic Law or HICBUL. She was also the education supervisor of the Commission on Higher Education Region 12 from 2005 to 2019. She was the supervisor in charge of humanities, social sciences and communication, agriculture, fishery, forestry and math, and sciences program in Region 12. Prior to her work in the Commission, she has worked with several foreign assisted projects funded by the European Union and Australia Aid. She has also worked in the educational development project, implementing task force or EDPTAF of the Department of Education as a project officer too of the Philippine Australia Agricultural Technology Education Project. Our speaker is also an educator for more than 23 years, serving as professor of Ateneo de Davao University and University of Southeastern Philippines, both on a part-time and full-time basis. She is a graduate of the University of the Philippines, Los Banos, Laguna, with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Development Communication, with a major in Community Broadcasting and minor in Agriculture. She finished her Master's degree and Doctor of Philosophy degree in the Development of Administration at the University of Southeastern Philippines, Obrero Davao City. She has also organized the Art and Sciences Educators Council in Region 11 and is the advisor of the Council of Deans for Agriculture, Fishery, and Forestry Education in Region 11. She has attended several regional, national, and international conferences and seminars. She has also participated in the International Forum for Education 2020 Leadership Institute sponsored by the S. West Center in the University of Hawaii, Honolulu, Hawaii. She was also a recipient of a scholarship by the Netherlands Fellowship Program set up by the Netherlands Ministry of Development Cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our speaker for our 43rd commencement exercises, Dr. Nelia Alfonsil Alibin. To the members of the Board of Trustees, to the President, Dr. Ali K. Delangalen, to our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Harris M. Sinolinding, to our Vice President for Administration, Dr. Datumanong O. Tagitikan, our Vice President for Research and Extension, Dr. Bainori A. Mantawil, to our Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Lumina D. Cabillo. The Dean of the College of Information and Communication Technology, Engineer Roy Pama. Dean of the College of Education, Dr. Gijet C. Paron. The Department Heads, Faculty Members, Students, Parents, Friends, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Afternoon. I am very honored to have been invited to deliver a message to the graduates of Cotabato Foundation College of Science and Technology. It is indeed a privilege to have been selected by your college to perform such an important role today, considering that this is also your ninth commencement exercises with the theme, Championing Quality Education Through Innovative Teaching and Learning. First of all, let me congratulate the administration, faculty and staff, and most importantly, the parents and graduates on this wonderful occasion. I am impressed with the work that's been done here in this college, and I know that the president, the dean, and faculty members 
deserve a huge amount of credit, so please give them a big round of applause. I've got very high expectations for all students here. Graduates, keep up the good work that you've already been putting in to make sure that you succeed in your future career. Today is the culmination of years of dedication and hard work, and it is with a great sense of pride that we share with you this milestone in your life. Whatever you dream of, go for it. Do not be afraid if it seems impossible. All great things look impossible at the start. When you believe in it hard enough and persevere, it becomes real. Always remember that you have to think big, start small, and more importantly, act now. Just look at today, your graduation day. Some of you thought it was never going to happen, but here you are and you have proved your critics wrong. Congratulations. When you get out of the academe, remember that the future belongs to those who dare to be different. Those who will smartly use their strengths will not just survive, they will thrive. And right here, right now, I can see the men and women who will chart the future of this country. You belong to that batch, and I know that you will not fail us. As you turn a new leaf in your lives, look back to your CFCST days as the foundation of a life of scholarship and service. Go forth and take with you our fervent prayers. May you become an individual appreciative of your unique strengths. May you use your gifts to create bold visions for yourself and your country. And may you pursue your visions with courage in the face of adversity. Therefore, appreciate and respect yourselves and the people around you. Do not hesitate to give yourselves to others. You are the most precious gift you can offer. Continue to develop your talents to the fullest extent so that you will be better empowered to enrich others' lives. I congratulate you, graduates. You have been given a good education. For CFCST, today's celebration is much more than just a graduation. It is a celebration of the school's continued commitment in providing quality education for generations of students. For this, we acknowledge everyone at CFCST for their time and unceasing efforts in nurturing students, both in imparting knowledge and skills, as well as in inculcating the values of wisdom, integrity, and excellence. I am sure it is your institution's commitment to allow every graduate to be provided with the opportunity to achieve the best that he, she can be. Let me also take this opportunity to encourage everyone to do something for education. Remember that education is not a task for the government alone. It will take parents getting more involved in their child's education. It will take schools doing more to reach out with parents. It will take students accepting more responsibility for their own education. You got to be an active participant in wanting to get an education. It will take teachers, parents, school officials, and elected leaders working together as partners in common effort, not seeing each other as antagonists, but all of us having the same goal. It will take each and every one of us doing our part on behalf of our children and our country and the future that we share. As for CHED, we are doing the right things by focusing on the educators to improve quality, affordability, and accessibility of education. We also have rolled out programs, projects, and activities to support the students who need additional help. We have our scholarship programs such as our STUFAPS, the UNIFAS, and the Tuition Education Subsidy or TES to keep our youths engaged in school. Congratulations to all our scholars. We will continue to work closely with all the stakeholders, including parents, the community, 
and other agencies to ensure that educational opportunities are available for all. On this note, it gives me great pleasure to once again extend my congratulations and best wishes to all the staff, students, and stakeholders of CFCSD. I wish you greater success as you continue on your journey of excellence and for your continuing efforts to deliver quality education for your students. Let us remain committed to the important work of expanding education to create a brighter future for Filipinos' next generation. Thank you. I wish you all the best for the years ahead. The text reads, Cotabato Foundation College of Science and Technology, situated at Doruluman, Arakan, Cotabato. Plaque of Appreciation is hereby presented to Dr. Nelia A. Alibin, Chet Regional Director, Region 12, for sharing her valuable insights, which truly inspired and motivated the graduates during the 43rd commencement exercises with the theme, Championing Quality Education Through Innovative Teaching and Learning. Her remarkable presence contributed much to the success of the occasion, given this 14th day of July, 2022, at Bayhaja Fatima Matabay Plang Gymnasium, CFCST Doruluman, Arakan, Cotabato, signed by the President, Dr. Ali K. Dilangalin. Thank you, Dr. Ali Bin, for gracing this occasion. For the Doctor of Education, Major in Educational Management, Ahero Carolyn Pigau. Her advisor is Dr. Harris M. Sinolindi. Traversing the work-life balance and organizational citizenship behavior for alternative learning system teachers productivity. Ibrahim Khan S. His advisor is Dr. Bainori A. Mantawil. His dissertation is entitled Teacher's Competence and Learning Support Mechanism for the Learning Progress of Pupils on Modular Approach. Mariego Julius G. His advisor is Dr. Marieta D. Cayabas. His dissertation is entitled Technology Utilization Practices of School Heads and Teachers for Students' Digital Home Learning. Almirol Chari R. Her advisor is Dr. Marvian M. Barrios. Her dissertation is entitled Organizational Behavior, Locus of Control and Ethical Leadership of School Heads.
Almonguera Mark A. His advisor is Dr. Marieta D. Cayabas. His dissertation is entitled Teacher's Work Behavior and Commitment Towards Curriculum Innovation. Auditor Kevin J. C. His advisor is Dr. Jessica B. Arenga. His dissertation is entitled School Heads Management Practices and Teacher Support Toward Academic Competence. Bamboa Joan Amor P. Her advisor is Dr. Jessica B. Arenga. Her dissertation is entitled School Heads Competencies and School Status. Buhay Jennifer T. Her advisor is Dr. Melrose B. Peralta. Her dissertation is entitled, Teacher's Self-Esteem and Career Satisfaction Towards Performance. Castillo Faith Marie P. Her dissertation is entitled Education Amidst Pandemic The Strategic Leadership and Crisis Management Practices Among School Heads. Her advisor is Dr. Jessica B. Arenga. Gao Marvin I. His dissertation is entitled Alternative Learning System Teachers Emotional Intelligence and Motivational Skills Its Leadership Efficacy. His advisor is Dr. Ramla A. Ampatuan. Ilombaring Madeline S. Her dissertation is entitled Challenges and Resiliency of Students in Higher Education Institutions in Times of Pandemic. Her advisor is Dr. Marvian M. Barrios.
the imposition of hood and the reunion of the former dean of the College of Education and the president. Funa Melvin S. His dissertation is entitled Teachers Practices on K-12 Curriculum Curriculum Implementation Toward the Competencies of Students in the Now Normal. His advisor is Dr. Jessica B. Arenga. Eileen B. Her dissertation is entitled Implementation and Sustainability of Gender and Development Program in Elementary Schools During the COVID-19 Pandemic. Her advisor is Dr. Harris M. Sinolindi. Minis Leia Rose E. Her advisor is Dr. Melrose B. Peralta. Her dissertation is entitled Teachers' Innovativeness and Emotional Stability for Teaching Performance in the New Normal Education. Lagradilia Mary Rose C. Her advisor is Dr. Jijet C. Paron. Her dissertation is entitled Parental Involvement, Community Support, and Learners' Progress A Sequential Explanatory. Libuon Cecil E. Her dissertation is entitled, The Untold Testimonies of Teachers Handling Learners with Special Educational Needs, a Sequential Explanatory. Her advisor is Dr. Jijet C. Paron. Rahim Miriam A. Her dissertation is entitled, New Normal Education, Readiness and Live Experience Towards Learner's Success. Her advisor is Dr. Onofri S. Corpus.
We shall now have the imposition of hoods by the Doctor of Philosophy in Rural Development, Major in Organization and Management. Starting off with Bano Miriam Moran. Her advisor is Dr. Zainuddin M. Adam. Her dissertation is entitled Agroecosystem Production Management and Marketing Strategies Towards Socioeconomic Viability in Mindanao. Congratulations, Ma'am Miriam. Intau Esmael M. His advisor is Dr. Zainuddin M. Adam. His dissertation is entitled Characterization of Raw Natural Rubber Crumb of the Promising Rubber Clones, USM1, PB260, and RRIM600, treated with different coagulants. Congratulations, Dr. Ismael. For the imposition of hoods, for the Master of Science in Agriculture, major in agronomy, and minor in agroforestry, this shall be done here, downstairs. Five graduates on this side, and another five there. Do not step on the red carpet, please. Shall we start? Master of Science in Agriculture, major in agronomy, and minor in agroforestry. Mahusai Jeneline H. Let's have my fives. Ramos Kristin A. Alarilia Edna S. Albios Meraflor O. Final sa baba tayo. Sige. By fives. Tapos na ito si Mahusay. Ramos Kristen A. Her thesis title is Growth Increment of Tissue Cultured Abaca Seedlings Applied with Conventional Fertilizer and Biostimulant. Her advisor is Mr. Kasim E. Saludo. Alarilia Edna S. Master of Arts in Education, major in Educational Administration. Alarilia Edna S. Her thesis title is Motivation of Teachers in Continuing Professional Development and Engagement. Her advisor is Dr. Marieta D. Cayabas. Albios Meraflor O. Her thesis title is Stakeholders Participation in School Programs Projects and Activities and School-Based Management Performance. Her advisor is Queenie A. Habibon. Anunciado Catherine M. Apat Norbelin S. Atang Bibina V. 
Asusina Jerome G. Badenas Jonah May R. Anunciado Catherine's thesis title is Teachers Readiness and School Preparedness on Modular Learning Towards Students' Behavior. Her advisor is Dr. Harris M. Sinolinting. Apat Norbelin S. Her thesis title is Learn Just to Teach, Understanding the Cases of Non-Literate Parents in the New Normal. Her advisor is Dr. Gerson S. Katoto. Asusina Jerome G. Instructional Module and Pupils Academic Performance as Mediated by Involvement of Parents. Her advisor is Dr. Queenie Habibon. Her advisor is Dr. Ramla A. Ampatuan. Bankas Josephine B. Her thesis title is Stakeholder Support and Implementation of the Indigenous Peoples Education. Her advisor is Dr. Melrose B. Peralta. Belarmino Helen B. Britannia Leia V. Wendia Kim M. Busain Daisy T, Cadiz Rosel Rosel L, Cadiz Rina S, and Camarista Jonalyn L. Caminos Divine Dale S. Thesis title, Job Characteristics and Organizational Commitment of Secondary Public School Teachers. Her advisor is Dr. Asan Lansau. Caro Rowena R. Thesis title, Educational Involvement and School Coordination of Parents on New Normal Learning Performance. Her advisor is Dr. Melros B. Peralta. Crispin Melinda J. Her thesis title, Classroom Management Towards Teaching Skills of Teachers. And her advisor is Dr. Marvian M. Barrios. Kui Irene J. G. Her thesis title, Teachers Instructional Practices Towards Learners' Performance in the New Normal. Her advisor is Dr. Melrose B. Peralta. Dalisay April Ann J. Her thesis title is Socioeconomic Profile, Home Environment and Academic Performance of the Students. Her advisor is Dr. Marvian M. Barrios. Damali Joy S. Modular Distance Learning. A perspective from local stakeholders. Her advisor is Dr. Ramla Ampatuan. Di Magnaong Melody. Domai Analyn, Imbalsado Rije E, Espanola Jenna G, Eting Corky L, Failano Ferdinand Jr, Falsario Leonisa B, Fernando Jason S, Gamali Carolino B.
requesting the faculty members from the College of Education to please assist in the imposition of rules. Dr. Kagi, Professor Rinconada, please. Next, Ganal Jomer G. Willar Rose Eileen. Ingay Solficio Jr. Hamolin Nelin P. Harabata Caroline May R. Hubahim Iris Joy O. Kandalayang Bailani B. Langoti Dory A, Laniton Samson R, and Laping Suzette C. Brilio J. Fe D. Lumugdang Mikloth L. Maestrado Dorothy Joy R. Malyorca Marcelina T. Matalang Sally L. Mendoza Shelame B. Minor Arlan B. Montano Vanessa B. Mocha Shela E. Pakati Ivy L. Pandes Dona May S, Parilio Danica G, Pines Thea L, Pines Tiffany L, Pitogo Ana Marie F, Plang Iming Iming C O D, Roflo Analea, Sagaino Kevin C, Sagukom Von Lowy A, Salazar Gemma C. Salise Marilu B, Sanchez Jean B, Sararanya Shenalis D, Sawai Jovelin L, Sumalino Zara L, Sumande Unifi, Unifi C, Tasitak Shirley E, Terado Mayunito E, Trinidad Jobert, Two one Benelda. And the last batch Orsua Resili, Verdon Jonami, Bellalon Michelle, Bellarejo Floraline. Villasor Jennifer, Wamar Miguel Oliver, 
and Zambas Joseph.
Yes, ka.
Thank <laughs> you. 
for a doctor of education, major in education and management. A hello, Caroline Tiga.
Requesting everyone to raise your right hand and follow us for now. We, the graduates, of the Patabato Foundation College of Science and Technology, Class 2022, conscious of the manifold responsibilities imposed on the educated citizens of the Republic. Oh, no. 